What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Little Reaction, man. Back with another video, man. Today, man, I got something special for y'all, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Like up the video, man. Let's get to it, man. These were moments after cops were defeated by suspects, what? starting with the most extreme case where a man yeah, walked into a police cuffs. station Damn, and beat bro, up man. an officer. That's crazy. You think I'm playing, bro? Huh? Ain't nobody fucking mental. On September 14, 2023, a 27-year-old man named Kishan Sims entered the Youngstown Police Department lobby in a state of emotional distress. But what happened next is almost unbelievable. Talk to like the chief or something. The chief only talks to people if they make a, uh, an appointment. I have to call him or something. Okay. The officer attempted to contact someone for Sims to speak with, but that person was unavailable. There's no one that will talk to you. Probably will. No. Yeah. Because you're talking about some kind of manifestation. It's tell. Is that you know what that tells me? What? That you're mental. You're fucking retarded. Say that shit again. You're mental. You have to leave now, sir. Or what? You have to leave now, sir. Call someone right the fuck I'm not calling anyone. Yeah, you you have to leave. Why? Leave. Make me leave. Leave. Make me leave. Make you leave? Yeah. <laughs> Say that shit again. You call me. Right. Say that shit again. You're Standing mental. on it. Think I'm playing, bro? Huh? Ain't nobody fucking mental. Fucking call somebody so I can fucking talk to someone. Get off me. Say that shit again. Alright. Say that shit again. Alright, man. In this case. Alright. Get. I get you mad, but that's not, as an officer, that's not how you handle it with force. Even though he is, you know, being disrespectful and all this, but you still don't handle it and try to fight with the man. You get what I'm saying? Now, he did sit you down. And he put your hands on you, but he sat you, he sat you down a little. So, just sit down. He let you get up. And you came back and started fighting, trying to fight him. Now, that's a no-no. Now, you just doing too much. So, I don't know. He probably hit you now. Yeah. I'm being honest. We can do this all day. Yes, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Man, come on. Now, come on. Now, why you going to pull out a gun, bro? I get you old. You do not gotta put out a gun. Anything pepper spray with a diddy. Fuck you putting out a gun for? He ain't even got no damn weapon. Bullshit. Several officers were needed to take Sims into custody. After his arrest, police searched his car and found a loaded semi-automatic handgun and additional ammunition. Despite his concealed carry permit, the incident was reported for a permit review. Keyshawn Sims of Austin Town faces charges of aggravated robbery and two counts of assaulting a police officer. His case will go before a Mahoning County grand jury. The upcoming case is even crazier as the suspect successfully stole a gun from a cop and hurt him with it. You got my gun. What? You got my gun. Now, that's a now this, this right here, chat, is a different, different case. You get what I'm saying? He pushed the cop, stole the cop gun, forced to use it. This is all totally different. But when he said he, when the cop told me he got his gun off him, okay, now a suck for a police officer. And got there. You know. 
On September 26, 2020, in the a Harbor Area Uniformed me? Desk Officer received a shot in his life. Now, this is a whole different life. case. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta play, you gotta Guzman pay the bylaws like that. the lobby like of that, the Harbor you Community can't. Police Station. Can't. The event that you took place saying? was incredibly all, unusual, man. to say the least. It's totally the desk different. officer had a verbal confrontation with Guzman. The argument grew increasingly heated, prompting Guzman to step outside in an attempt to cool off. However, the desk officer followed him and continued trying to engage in conversation. Guzman suddenly turned and walked back inside. He adopted a fighting stance. He then engaged the officer in a physical altercation, punching him in the face and causing the officer- I told y'all right off the rip. Different case, diff different scenario. Now, hey, not the officer, but you know, to fall backwards Man. onto the floor. You see that? While on the ground, Guzman now you got to pull force the officer for his gun, eventually managing to remove it he from took, the officer's he took off the gun, and gain control of it. Kept the gun. Ran out of it. See, that's why I say you really got to play your cards right, and that's all it is. You got to make the right decision. He decisions. managed to seize the gun and overpower the officer. He began to stand up. However, See, the now, situation that's was far situation. from over, as he planned to do something even worse with See the stolen that? gun. As Guzman began to retreat towards the front door, the off-duty assistant watch commander responded to the front lobby to aid the injured officer. Hey! You got my gun! What? You got my gun! The two other officers returned fire, but Guzman was not hit and fled the station in his vehicle. Responding officers spotted Guzman's car and quickly initiated a pursuit. I told you, I told you, I Jack. Totally different case. Let me see your hands. Totally different case. Let me see your hands. Get down on the ground. Down on the ground. Jose Guzman has been held in jail since the incident, with bail set at $2.2 million. The injured officer, who has over 30 years of service with the department, made a full recovery. Guzman faces multiple charges, including attempted murder, assault with a semi-automatic firearm, robbery, and resisting arrest. If you know convicted, saying? he could totally receive a life cases. sentence. Things took a much darker turn in the next case, where a cop passed out and almost lost his life. A Brooklyn Park police officer was responding to a loud noise complaint when he encountered 25-year-old Lance Carr. Little did he know the kind of person he had encountered. Damn, they would fight for some minutes fast like that. Carr overpowered the officer, turning it into a fight for his life as he reached for the officer's gun. The officer called for backup, but help was nowhere in sight. Neighbors were screaming for help and called 911 for police backup, but that didn't stop Carr from choking the officer. Despite managing to fire his gun, the officer missed Carr 
and then ejected the magazine, rendering the gun unable to fire additional rounds. Parr continued punching and strangling the officer for another three minutes before they could hear the sound of the police siren. Damn. <laughs> it ain't funny, but damn. That's some bullshit, though. Yes, it is. 5122, we've got one in custody. I need door to line fire on the red Officer Sean Hyman collapsed following the struggle and was taken away on a stretcher. He missed about two weeks of work while recovering from his injuries. Lance Carr was convicted of first-degree assault and sentenced to 10 years in prison, a relatively light sentence given that his actions could have easily led to attempted murder charges, which would carry a much higher penalty. But if you thought this was bad, Wait until you see the next case where an officer was defeated with his own weapon. Bro, I will hurt you! Your fucking hands. I will hurt you! Bro. Officers from the Tallahassee Police Department were called to the Loyalty Inn on North Monroe Street due to a trespassing incident involving Willis Adams. What they stumbled upon next was the last thing they expected. All right, Mr. Adams, they want you to be issued a trespass warning. Got, so you, you got, a, got too many. I got you. They're already in front of you. I made sure they did that. How'd they reform it? You, so see that, you see that so, got there, there twisted T right there. Right there. Here you go. <laughs> where's that? He's printing it out. Hey, you see that twisted T, man? Check this out for me. Huh? Listen to me. You got to leave. You see that twisted T? You got, you got stuff up in the room? Uh, true. Do you have stuff in the room? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of shit in my okay. room. Okay, so we need to go up there and clear it out because you got to go. Boss man. Listen, you're not listening to me because I'm not leaving a place that my name is on the property. What you're going to do is leave or you're going to go to jail for trespassing. The officers told Adams to leave and that he would be arrested if he came back. However, he returned to the hotel about two hours later and was spotted by one of the officers who was still on the scene. Go ahead and talk to me. Go ahead and put your hands on me, man. Help. Come up here. I'm on the phone with him. Who are you on the phone with? No, no, no. Who are you on the phone with? Right back, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, man. Look. Hello, man. Bro, just drunk. Bro, I had too many twisted teeth. Did y'all just hear that pole sign off when he hit it? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Get your ass out of my face, bro. What I tell you, man? Hit me with that taser. What I tell you? Hit me with that fucking taser. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on, get on the ground. For no reason, get on the ground, bro. Get on the ground. Man, he's got him with a taste for no reason. Bro. That might not even be no twisted teeth, bro. That's like he got a C4 bro, in, his, in, his, in his hand. I know what that pink thing is. He got a C4 in his hand. Probably got a lot of energy. He probably had an energy. Oh, that's it. He said a C4 on him. You know me, I be knowing. Get off, man. I don't really rock with the energy. I will hurt you. I will hurt you. Anybody that go in the gas station, most likely all the time, you just know what stuff is. Nah, that was a the boat. officer then drew his firearm, and a struggle ensued over it. During the struggle, the firearm discharged, hitting the oh, officer you know, in the head. I don't know, bro. I just know it says C4. Bro, quit. Hey, get the. I don't want to drink it. Dispatch, he's got my gun. He's got my gun. I'm shot. I'm shot. Adams, armed with the officer's handgun, was intercepted by another officer and allegedly reached for their gun. He was eventually arrested with additional officers' help and charged with attempted homicide of a police officer. The next case involves a deadly standoff between a SWAT team and a suspect. Ted's hit! Ted's hit! Justin! Justin, I got you! Justin, I got you! I got you! Go get him! On June 12th, 2024, Ogle County Sheriff deputies responded to a call from a mother saying her son was in a home on Wild Rice Lane in Dixon threatening to kill himself and others. Hostage negotiators made over 50 unanswered calls starting at 10.40 a.m. A SWAT team then attempted contact, and officers entered the home around noon. Uh, I haven't heard a bang yet. Fire extinguisher. 
Heads up here. Heads up here. And stepping up. Good. How I binge hours on Twitch without a single Start shooting shots in there, but that's crazy, though. He get to shoot shots. That's outrageous, now. Shots fired! Hey, when that air pop, I'm gonna go take him out. Shots fired! Shots fired! Chance hit! Chance hit! Justin, Justin, I got you! Justin, I got you! I got you! Go get him! Get him, get him, get him! Here, pull, pull, pull! Pull, pull, pull! It's my arm, my left arm! Sam, Sam, back, back! Get up, get up! I can't help me! Jesus, he's inside? Upon entering the house, the deputies came under fire from inside. Gunfire struck three officers and the suspect, leaving one deputy seriously injured. Here, here, here! Got it, got it, got it, got it! I need you, I need to check your left side. I want you to go to your back. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Is this okay or no? I don't know. Emily? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right here. Yep. He's not gonna okay. be if you can't breathe, Jay, go to your side. I can breathe. Okay. Stay right there for me, please. I'm not moving. Okay. Who's down? The bad guy. Thank you. Stay right there for me. I need to go on my side. Okay, go on the side. Come, come towards me. Come towards me. Okay. Two of the three deputies who were shot were treated and released, while the third deputy was flown to St. Anthony's Hospital in Rockford and underwent surgery. The suspect was also hospitalized locally and underwent surgery. However, the next case was very different, where a female officer found herself losing consciousness. Take a seat. Damn. I can get my thing out there. I'm going to get it. Get my thing out there, on Sunday, November 18th, 2018, just after 3 p.m., the manager of a Dollar Tree on Chef Mentor Highway identified Ishianti Jackson as a shoplifter. The manager informed the police that Jackson had stolen items from the store, prompting the officers to pursue her. Man. Did you take that bag from, from Dollar Tree? Oh, no. Got a receipt for that stuff? Still, man, man, already. Put the stuff on the hood. Put the stuff on the hood. Just put, put everything, put everything on the hood. Just put everything on the hood. No, 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 no. Put the bag on the hood. Okay. Put everything on the hood. Your the purse, phone, everything like that. Put, put everything. Drop it. Put your hands behind your back. Place your hands behind your back. Place your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. The officers successfully apprehended her, but they encountered an unexpected situation when attempting to transport her. Okay, let go. Let, let go over. Uh -huh. Ellie, are you good? She's okay. She's okay. Ellie, 
it, are you good? During the pursuit of Jackson, the female officer fell, hit her head, and briefly lost consciousness. Jackson was eventually arrested, but continued to resist, kicking officers as they placed her in the patrol car. The injured officer was taken to the hospital. Ishianti Jackson was charged with shoplifting, resisting an officer, and injuring an officer during her escape attempt. She received a $10,000 bond and remained in jail on a probation hold. If you enjoy videos like this, please like, subscribe, and watch this one. Oh, wow. Man, if you're new to the channel, man, make sure you like, subscribe, bro. I'll see y'all in this video again.